you're wearing silkies or sophies or you've ever worn them in the past, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all that good stuff because it really helps me out. So what is the best belt mounted rifle magazine pouch? And that is a great question. Now you have to realize that best is very subjective. Best for a competition shooter is going to be very different from best for a dude doing halo ops or a dude doing maritime security or contracting work or police work. So realize that there's a whole lot of um, gray area in there when it comes to best. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about magazine pouches that perform well in duty slash professional setups. So may not be the best for you, but I found that in my time with them, they've worked quite well. So when it comes to our magazine pouches, we're going to be dealing with open top designs because we're going to be working mostly from emergency reloads, that type of stuff, since it's running off the belt. Now for a police officer, that might be a primary mag. Just realize that you're going to have some variation based on what you do. But in any case, let's talk about the different types of mag pouches we'll be using. So we'll be talking about the HSGI Tacos, the G-Code Scorpions, the STAC Kiwis, and finally the ITW Fast Mag. So we're gonna be rating these on a scale of three in blocks, and it's going to be retention, so how well they retain the magazine, the amount of noise they make, so when they're bumped into the type of material they're made of, and then finally the ease of the mag draw. So those will be our criteria, and now of course there are other things to consider as well, but we'll do our best to rate these. So we'll start off with an oldie and still goodie, which is the HSGI Taco. So the HSGI Taco is a piece of Cordura that's secured with bungee, and that bungee provides that tension on the magazine. Now, what's good about it? It's simple design. They last quite a long time. I've had this one for probably about four years, and it still works. Now, the problem with it is that there's because you just have Cordura on the inside, no type of synthetic material to kind of grip it, these do come out fairly easy. Great, smooth magazine draw. However, there's a higher chance you're going to lose them because it doesn't secure them as hard as some of the newer designs out there. So, still works. I think that there are better designs out there. So, when it comes to rating the HSGI Taco, we're going to go ahead and rate it on a 1 for retention. Now, realize that this is all comparative to the other magazine pouches within this video. The HSGI Taco does do a lot better than almost every other magazine pouch out there. But, we're going to give it a 1 in block out of 3 for retention. We're going to give it a 1 in block out of 3 for noise, which is good. Because there's not a whole lot of plastic, not a whole lot of stuff to bump into, these magazine pouches don't make a whole lot of noise when you're moving around. And that's always good for you. Finally, for ease of draw, these are probably one of the fastest, smoothest draws of the magazine pouches that we have out there. So I'm going to give it a 3. So, again, not great retention, great noise reduction, and also really good on that fat for those fast magazine changes. So HSGI Taco does pretty good overall. Now let's talk about some of the others that we have out there. So right here we have the G-Code Scorpion. Now, full disclosure, I was given the G-Code Scorpion for free from G-Code because they wanted me to take a look at them. Now, some of you might say, oh man, you're a sellout, that means you're going to give this a good rating. Now, I'm going to give this a good rating, but not because it was given to me, but rather because I like it. Uh, I like being given products because I like free stuff, but also because I have no bias towards it. I, don't, I, I didn't purchase, spend any of my own money on it. I feel no obligation to try to defend my purchase. So, um, and I'm going to wreck stuff just as equally uh, whether I bought it or got it for free. So... Um, I try to have as little bias as possible when it comes to this stuff, just full disclosure, just these are given to me. But anyhow, the HSGI Taco versus the G-Code Scorpion. You see this a lot because they're very, very similar in design. Uh, they both use bungees and they both have some type of cloth slash material wrapped around a magazine to keep it in place. However, I think that G-Code did a really good job in outpace the HSGI Taco due to a couple factors. Now, I want to point out that the G-Code um, has gone over a couple revisions, and I've seen some people say that, hey, these G-Codes don't hold in magazines very well. They slip out really well. I have not found that to be the case with the one that the ones that I were given, that I was given. So they have a really grippy material on the inside that holds those magazines in place very well. In fact, of the magazine pouches here, this retains them about second best. So pretty good overall. So what it has is it has a little exoskeleton here on the outside and that provides rigidity for the magazine pouch as well as protecting the bungees to some extent or another. On the inside you have the grippy material, really keeps it in place. So I'm a big fan of the HSGI Scorpion. I, if you have a choice between these two, I definitely recommend the Scorpion. When it comes to rating this out of our inbox, we're gonna give it a two and a half on retention. We're gonna give it a one on noise. It's very quiet compared to some of the other magazine pouches that I dealt with and then on ease of draw for, for a magazine, uh, we'll put it at about a two out of three in blocks. So 
a really solid design. Um, very happy with it. Now, in my mind, it typically comes down to this versus the STAT Kiwis. So they kind of both are kind of middle of the road. They're not really good at something, but they're not terrible at anything, but they kind of have a different design philosophy. So as you can see here with the Kiwis, they're a little bit shorter as far as where they hold the magazine compared to the G-Code Scorpion or the HSGI Taco. What that allows you to do is it allows for a very smooth draw from the STAT Kiwis. Now, the STAT Kiwis are really cool design. They use a Kydex insert to put tension on the magazine, and then on the outside they have a Kodura wrapping. What that does is it really keeps that noise level down as well as making it very small, simple, robust, that type of stuff. I've never had these fell on me and I've used them for quite a while. So as you can see here, when you pop it in, you hear that little click and it's pretty secure. Now it's not as secure as the Gco Scorpion in my opinion. So when it comes to our STAT Kiwis, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rate it at a two for in blocks out of three for retention. We're gonna put it at a one for noise level, because again, not a whole lot of plastic to make noise or anything like that. It's all covered with that Kundura. And finally for the mag, ease of draw, we're gonna put it at a two and a half in blocks out of three. So compare that to the Scorpion, where, where the Scorpion is at two and a half, one, two. So you can see they're very similar, uh, just kind of a different design influence. So if you're considering getting one of these, uh, kind of figure out what your priority is and what you really need and then go with that. But I don't believe that you can go wrong with either of these. I think they'd serve you very well. So we have our STAT Kiwi. Finally, at the uh, far end of the spectrum when it comes to retention, noise, and uh, ease of draw, we have the ITW Fast Mag. So this is a really cool design. It's kind of departs from a lot of the other designs that we've talked to up to this point. It's got all polymer. It uses a tension band right here to hold the magazine in place. Now, you can move that tension band up and down to increase or decrease the amount of tension on the magazine. Now, in the case of being mounted on your plate carrier or something like that, or belt mounted or upside down, you probably wanna have that band all the way up. Belt mounted, you can probably actually move it a little bit down. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> double back on that one. But uh, these are very secure. I've seen a lot of guys mount these upside down on the plate carriers. Is that the best option to do? No, probably not. Now, when I say guys have mounted those, I've done it before, but um, when it comes to being in theater, I've seen guys also have these upside down, but these are very secure, but nonetheless, um, gravity always wins. So I'm not a big fan of mounting these upside down. Just realize that they are secure enough to where you can actually do that. Um, the problem with these is that because it's all polymer, with, any, with anything bumps into these, it does make a whole lot of noise. So depending on what you're doing or kind of what your priority is, it might not be the best option. At the same time, if you're looking for some pretty secure retention, it's hard to go wrong with the ITW Fast Mag. So when it comes to our Fast Mag, as far as rating it, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a three out of three in blocks for retention. We're gonna give it a three out of three in blocks when it comes to noise. And then finally, we're gonna give it a two for ease of draw. Because while it is fairly easy to draw, um, it's about on the same level of the G-Code Scorpion. So it feels about the same to draw, draw them. So you kind of have that tension all the way through on that pole as you draw that magazine. So those are our four magazine pouches we've talked about. Um, again, you know I tend to lean towards the G-Code Scorpion and the STAT Kiwis, both excellent products. But uh, if you want to go to the far left or right on, those, on that spectrum, we have the HSGI Taco and ITW Fast Mag. All great magazine pouches. You can't go wrong with any of them. It just depends on what you're doing. So I hope this was a good primer for you guys. I hope it kind of made you uh, either think about your belt setups and specifically what pouches you're using, or if you don't have anything, maybe uh, steer you away from a bad purchase or a good purchase, that type of stuff. And obviously when it comes to the magazine pouches, if you don't look cool, nothing matters. <laughs>